If you will play from a copy of a tune that is choppy, you'll get all my applause. And that is perfectly because I want to listen to rap. All right, so prognosis. Should we just put them to sleep? If they have dental disease, you know, all this suffering and all this anesthesia. Rabbits, you know, they, if you treat them well, they can make amazing recoveries and live a very long, happy life. They do, if they do have dental disease, it is a lifelong commitment to, to treat it. And sometimes it can be minor. Like, you know, I have some rabbits where they just come in like every four to six months and we make sure everything's doing good because we want to catch anything before it gets bad again. Some rabbits are coming in every two to four weeks for a little sedated snip because they have one or two teeth that just keep growing and if we didn't do that then they would be in pain. Um, with the jaw abscesses, when I do it, I do it, I aim for a cure so that once it's done, it's done. And uh, they can certainly get more jaw abscesses in other parts of their teeth, um, but usually when I'm treating an abscess like that, I'm trying for a cure. And so this is Velcro again, the rabbit that we saw earlier that I took in that needed three surgeries for her abscess. And after those three surgeries, she needed a little minor trims here and there, but then she lived probably like six more years. She was, I think, already four by the time I got her. And she died of heart disease. Her teeth were fine. So, um, so yeah, so in this, the best thing when you're dealing with jaw abscess is to be aggressive at the beginning. Because if you're not, then it's going to last longer. So chronic condition, um, they can survive without incisors, as we discussed. And they can survive without molars. Now, it can be challenging. You know, I've had rabbits that have two molars and they're actually eating fine. And I've had a couple of rabbits had such bad teeth that they ended up having no molars in their mouth or none that were even meeting. And so surprisingly, they can actually eat pellets and oats. So I think what they do is they just dissolve the pellets with their saliva, mm -hmm. make a mush of it, and the oats too. And sometimes they do need some supplemental feeding with critical care. Um, most of the rabbits that needed the supplemental feeding were older and had very poor molars. So, but I think, you know, the important thing is, is managing them properly and, um, you know, just not ignoring it. But yeah, it is an investment. Prevention. How can we prevent this? Well, certainly feeding a lot of grass hay when they're young. I kind of wonder if, if a rabbit is in a pet store and being fed mostly pellets and hardly any hay, is that setting that rabbit up for dental problems for the rest of its life? you know, if they're not getting enough hay when they're young or too much pellets. And so, so I do wonder about that. Um, but certainly lots and lots and lots of hay. A lot of times with um, baby rabbits, we are starting with alfalfa hay, but you can also use Timothy hay right away. And so alfalfa is good for growing. I'll usually use a combination of both until they're maybe, you know, six to nine months of age. And then I'm going to wean them off the alfalfa. See, alfalfa is higher in calcium and protein, which is good for growing babies. Uh, certainly, as we mentioned, limiting pellets and greens if um, you know that's why when we do have people coming in with their new rabbits or they're new to the area um, or just an annual wellness exam we're going to evaluate the diet how much pellets are you feeding how much greens are you feeding sometimes people say greens and we say okay how much this much this much or this much and they go oh well, it's a platter three <laughs> times a day and I'm like oh my god you know or the rab or they say oh well she always has pellets in her ball you know, oh, she doesn't eat much. The pellets are always there. It's because they're feeding a huge bowl of pellets. It never runs out. And so they, you, the owners think that they're, not, that they're not eating much, but they just have as much as they want. And so that's not good to feed them free choice pellets. So they really, really do a lot better when you limit the pellets and you limit the greens, and then they're eating lots and lots and lots of hay. Okay? And the hay should be given to them at least once a day, if not twice a day. Okay, so they will like it fresh. Even if it's just from sitting over here in a bucket <laughs> and you're just moving it into their area, oh my God, it's fresh hay. So, okay. Annual physical exams with an experienced rabbit vet. Um, I, one sad story that I tell is that um, these clients came to me because the rabbit had tearing eyes that the other vet had been trying to treat with no success. And 
These owners were so proud of themselves. They were good bunny vets. They took their vet in for yearly, they took their rabbit in for yearly exams with this vet. And they were like, we're good parents. We take care of our bunny. And that rabbit had horrible teeth because that vet obviously didn't know to look at the teeth or didn't know what he was looking at. Mm -hmm. And that rabbit had three abscesses and rotten teeth. And the owner thought he was fine because they were doing their their duty and they were doing a good job, they thought. So definitely make sure it's, it's a really good quality vet that you're going to, okay? And uh, then we talked about the breeds and feeling your rabbit's chin frequently. And I'm not sure if you can see this, is must find the most perfect piece of hay. <laughs> so I think that's it. Any questions? between the hay, um, mm -hmm. between first, second, and third cut of chicken, and what's better for them? I don't know that it makes that huge of a difference, to be honest. Okay. So um, I think that you know, Timothy hay in general is more coarse and fibrous than orchard and oat, and so certainly it is going to be best for the teeth. There are a lot of people who are allergic to Timothy and can't use it. So, um, so in that case, then we'll usually say orchard or oat. Um, the oat has a lot of seed heads, and so sometimes bunnies can get a little chubby on it. So, but they really love it. So sometimes once they're on orch or oat grass, the hay, they won't go back to Timothy because the oat's so good. Yeah. So, so Timothy is ideal in terms of first, second, third cutting. It may be that the earlier cuttings are more tender, and the late cuttings are more coarse. Uh, maybe the first cutting has got more nutri nutrients and the last one, if it's on the same field, is going to be, you know, used up the nutrients from the other cuttings. So, um, and, you know, and we are giving them n nutrients in the pellets. The pellets are almost like a vitamin because it's got all the little minerals and, and vitamins that a rabbit is going to need and it's based on their needs. That, you know, obviously with lab rabbits, they know very well what the rabbit's uh, nutritional needs are. So, okay, any other questions? Okay, well thank you very much. I wanna listen to I wanna listen to I wanna